Today we visit French Valley Airport. First, let's ignore this horrible pattern. I do not condone this pattern. It's a two, three mile final. I don't know why I was so far out, but you guys get to see a preview of what it is for a straight in for the RNAV 1.8. The interesting thing is, this is the approach for that, but the departure is actually 3.6. So if it's an IFR day and the winds are favoring 3-6, just make sure to listen to the radios because someone could be coming in to land on the RNAV for 1-8. So this is kind of an atypical weekend day and I think it had to do with the weather, but this untowered airport can get pretty busy. I remember one time we were standing out just looking at all the traffic coming in and one pilot tells another pilot, I guess we're flying formation. It gets a little spicy out there so make sure you keep track of everybody whether it's on your iPad and listen to the radios and it goes without saying but I will say it anyways. Make sure to report accurate positions. So I ended up landing really long this time and as soon as I pass Alpha 3, the next taxiway is Alpha 4, which is actually pretty far. But as you guys can see, this is a 6,000 foot long runway. But one of the great things about this runway is actually at night. It's very well lit. It's actually one of my favorite places to land at night. Another note about the weather is that the winds can change pretty fast sometimes, so keep an eye on the weather and look at that windsock right before landing. It would definitely help. This is one of two self-serve fuel stations. The second one's closer to the terminal. Since I landed so long, we got time for a quick story. It was 2022 and my wife and I decided, okay, let's buy a plane. We found one in Prescott, Arizona. We flew out there, did a test flight, everything looked good, set up for a pre-buy, but we had to wait a month and a half. After a month and a half, they told us there was metal in the engine, so that was canceled. But that same week, we ended up finding one right here at this airport. So Hannah, our plane, ended up being only a 20 minute flight away. Now for the bad news that to this day still pains me. So it's a long story, but in a nutshell, to not bore you guys, so my friend and forever CFI, cause once a CFI, always a CFI, Justin, offered to help me go pick up the plane because I was not complex endorsed. I'll spare you guys the details, but I didn't do a pre-flight and I seriously thought I damaged this plane. I felt like the lowest of the low for this man offering his time and here I go trying to destroy his plane. Luckily I didn't and maybe that's why now my checklists are really long and it takes at least 15 to 20 minutes to do a pre-flight. Just sorry I learned that lesson with Justin's plane. Parking spots are plentiful. They're clearly marked with the words transient and they all have tie down chains, which is nice. And just a reminder, don't forget to look at the description for any fees for transient parking. We find that's the best place because we can always update it later. Yeah, I can't tell whether our friend was helping or hurting. So now that you guys know how important checklists are to me, let's do ours. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you don't want to miss the next video to see what new airports you guys can visit, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport, the cafe, the parking, or how to get your own personal lineman, leave a comment. Checklist complete. I highly recommend coming to visit French Valley Airports, and if you come, you might even get to see some private jets. Oh.